Pakistan is experiencing the trail of destruction left by massive floods. People who were sheltered in makeshift camps during the deluge have returned to their homes, only to find that their homes are partially or completely destroyed. Pakistan is battling another battle at the health front as its weak infra has stretched to the limit to accommodate the rising number of people falling ill to the flood-induced diseases. Jan Mohammad Lashari returned his home after spending one month in a makeshift relief camp in Daike only to find that most of the home he left is destroyed. Hundreds of thousands were forced to flee their homes after incessant rains driven floods submerged large swaths of Pakistan and killed over 1600 people. Lashari said his family and him had managed to escape the rapidly rising floodwaters, finding refuge in the camp about three kilometers away from his village. Authorities said the stagnant flood waters spread over hundreds of kilometers, may take two to six months to recede. This meant farming was out of the question. The father of eight expressed happiness that his family had returned, but he is overwhelmed with the thought that he has to rebuild his home and he has no idea where he will procure his resources from. The National Disaster Agency said last month that about 637,000 displaced people were being housed in tent villages. The deluge has swept away homes, crops, bridges, roads and livestock in damages estimated at 30 billion US dollars. UN agencies had begun work to assess the South Asian nation's reconstruction needs after it received 391 mm of rain or nearly 190% more than the 30-year average in July and August. The floods have not just left a trail of destruction but it has taken a massive toll on people's health as well. The emergency ward at the main government hospital in Sehwan, a small town in southern Pakistan, is overwhelmed. Hundreds of people could be seen crammed into rooms and corridors, desperately seeking treatment for those suffering from malaria and other illnesses. Three to four hundred plus malaria came. जो हम टेस्ट भी करवाते हैं टेस्ट तो कुछ की करवाते हैं कुछ की नहीं करवा सकते क्योंकि अब टेस्ट का हम वेट करते हैं जैसे बेहतर है हमें पता है इसको तो ये सिम्टम क्योंकि हमें सिम्टम का पता होता है कि क्या का होती है तीन सिम्टम होते हैं द सिचुएशन इन पाकिस्तान हैज लेड टू वाइड स्प्रेड केसेस ऑफ स्किन एंड आई इंफेक्शंस डायरिया मलेरिया टाइफाइड एंड डेंगू फीवर The crisis hits Pakistan at a particularly bad time. With its economy in crisis, propped up by loans from the International Monetary Fund, it does not have the resources to cope with the longer-term effects of flooding.